Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to get a flawless base with acne and acne scar coverage, if that makes sense. Coverage for acne scars and acne. I have been dealing with acne for about seven years now, so it's kind of just old and I hate it. But, you know, this life is just my makeup and for some reason I just get acne and I can't help that. But I'm learning to live with it. I'm learning to love my face and love myself because of it. And you guys should too because, you know, this is the only body that you have and you gotta love it. You gotta take care of it and you just gotta love what, what you've been given and just work through it getting on to the acne and the acne coverage. Um, I, like I said, I've been dealing with acne for about seven years now, and when I first started getting ac acne was probably around my eighth eighth grade until now, I still, so I still get acne now. Um, I did have a clear face until then. Uh, I guess that's when I was just going through, you know, the change of being a woman and getting your period and all that stuff. Like, I started just getting acne a lot. And I would pick in it and pick in it, and so now I have face where I just have a lot of acne scarring and I'm really trying to get, I've gotten onto myself now more about picking at it and stuff like that because when you pick at it, it makes it a lot worse and it leaves behind scars which I have. I've been trying to find different ways to calm down my acne which I think I've done a good job of doing but now I'm just trying to get rid of the acne scarring. So ways that I cover my acne scars is obviously with makeup and um so yeah i want to help you guys and show you guys that are dealing with acne scarring and acne as well but acne scarring and especially um ways to cover it um it took me a while to do something to start from scratch it took me a while to get confident to start from scratch because i know that a lot of people think that i do have flawless skin and i don't and none of us are perfect and i'm just you know trying to do a little disclaimer that yeah, we not all aren't we all aren't perfect, but we can definitely just be happy with what we have. And I'm happy with what I have, you know? Just working it. You don't feel me, you gotta look cute or whatever. Even though sometimes you don't feel cute, you know? So yeah, and uh, we're just gonna get right into it. So um yeah, here we go. So I'm going to start off with this dual action moisturizer by Clean and Clear, and I'm going to use this wet and wild coverall primer. Um, I forgot to actually record the part where I put it on, so I'm going to go ahead and skip to my brows. I'm using this brownie dip by Beauty Bakery in the color dark brown, and I'm just going to outline the shape of my eyebrows and fill in some of the sparse areas. Using my Anastasia brow tool, I'm going to brush in those um, areas and just make it all blend together. Um, I really, really love this brow tool. It's like the best thing ever. Um, I'm going to go with my Conceal Correct and Contour Palette by NYX, and I'm going to use this color here and conceal my brows. Now, um, I am kind of heavy-handed when I conceal my brows, or actually heavy-handed in general. I know it looks kind of crazy like what I'm doing, but I promise that it will all make sense in the end. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to conceal my brow and just make it look all clean and nice and fresh. Fresh and so clean, clean. <laughs> Now I'm taking my Tarte foundation in the color Tan Honey and then my LA Pro Conceal in the color Fawn and I'm going to go ahead and start my um, foundation and I love these two colors together because it just fits my skin so well like I, I went to the beach and got really really tan and my face was falling off so uh, well that does nothing to do with this but anyway my face was like so flaky and gross because it got sunburned but once all that skin came off my skin was this color and I'm just so so happy because now I have like foundation that actually matches so yeah it's really awesome anyway yeah so I'm just going ahead and blend it in with my blendy sponge from Real Techniques and just get all those um, spots covered <laughs> So 
now that we've done blending, I'm going to highlight under my eyes, my nose, my chin, and my cupid's bow. And I'm using the NYX Cor Correct Conceal and Contour Palette in the color medium. And uh, yeah, it's what I use actually for my eyebrows as well. So that's the same thing that I'm using for my highlight. To set my highlight, I'm going to be using the NYX Pro Palette, uh, Pro Highlight and Contour Palette, and I'm using the banana color under my eyes to highlight. I think I showed you guys this, actually I did show you guys this in my May Favorites video, and I really love this thing, it's amazing, and I can't stop using it. I use it every, every day, when, or not every day, but every time I use my makeup, and it's just awesome. And using that same palette, I'm going to contour my face using my Real Techniques um, contour brush. And I love, love, love just contouring my face. It just makes everything just pop and my cheekbones, the cheekbones stand out even more. Using my LA Girl Pro Powder, I'm going to just set everything on my face. And I'm using this Kabuki brush from Icing to, yeah, set the powder in. Using this e.l.f. Golden Bronzer, I'm going to highlight my cheekbones, or highlight under my eye and my cheekbones. And uh, yeah, I really love this Golden Bronzer. I put that in my May Favorites as well, and I use this with my daily routine on my makeup. Um, yeah, I just really love this bronzer, and it's only $3, so you guys should check it out. Using this color from my NYX Contour and Highlight palette, um, it's actually a shimmery highlight and I didn't even know they had shimmery highlight and I was just playing around with it and I realized it has shimmery highlight and I was like, oh my gee, this is awesome. So yeah, um, I'm using that as well <laughs> on my nose and my cheeks and my cupid's bow, my chin and my forehead. Using my Box Beauty from Motives, um, I am going to take this shimmery blush and use it in the same areas as well. Um, as you guys know, I love my bronzers and I just like the glowy, dewy effect um, and I just really like it so that's what I'm doing again. <laughs> Moving on to my blush, I got this baked blush from Forever 21 and I really, really love it. It's like a sheer blush, but it has a pink tone to it and it's just really awesome and buildable and I love it. Um, and also, I'm using my natural palette from Forever 21 as well. And I'm using that brown color that I just showed you guys and I'm taking it in the crease of my brow and taking it to the outer part of my eye. And uh, yeah, it's just really awesome. I love this shimmery color. Using a gold color, I'm going to go over that part on the lid of my eye and just um, kind of blend it in with the brown as well um, and bring it in all the way to the tear duct of my eye. this color from the natural palette I'm going to use it on the outer part of my eye using my eco tools petite eyeshadow brush and just blend it in and kind of give it a little bit of a shadow on the outer part of my eye <laughs> Using this e.l.f. Golden Bronzer again, I'm going to take the um, Petite Eyeshadow Brush from Equal Tools and just get into my tear ducts of my eye and give it a little bit of a highlight. And I really, really like it. It makes my eyes look bigger because my eyes are actually really, really small as you guys can see. And it just makes them a little, look a little bit wider. Moving on to my eyeliner, I'm taking this NYX gel liner and my eyeliner brush and I'm just going to start my wing eye and I really like this part actually it's like a love and hate relationship I have with wing eyeliner sometimes I get it perfect and then other days I just look like a raccoon or whatever has like dark circles around its eye pandas 
do pandas have dark circles? I don't know. Anyway, um, basically, I just have a good days with my eyeliner, and some days I don't, and it just sucks. Moving on to lashes, I'm using this Kiss Adhesive Lash, and I like black um, eyelash glue, and I, then I don't because it fits in with my eyeliner, but then sometimes it's a little messy, and it makes my eyeliner look like my eyeliner is jacked up, and as you guys already know, I already have a hard time enough with eyeliner, so it's just, it's cray. But anyway, um, these lashes are from Kiss as well and I don't remember which type of eyelashes these are. I'm so sorry, I'll put it in the description below. Anyway, you guys can see me struggling with these eyelashes. <laughs> and uh, yeah, um, but they came out pretty good. I'm using this Max Volume Plus from Wet n Wild, and I really like this um, mascara, it's really nice. And I'm just going to make my own lashes blend in with my falsies. Moving on to my lips, I am going to line them with the brown slim lip print pencil from MYX and um, yeah, line them, make them look all nice and lined and pretty. And then I am going to go in with this Ruby Kisses um, Brown Sugar Matte Lipstick and I really love this lipstick and it makes my um, Abu Dhabi from NYX blend and look really nice and matte and just stay on for a long time. So I love those two colors put together. But not least, you cannot forget your setting spray, girl. I'm using the infallible um, setting spray from L'Oreal and just spraying it, make sure my makeup will stay in place for the rest of the night, day, whatever. And bam, that is the finished look. Um, I hope that you guys have got some tips and techniques that you can use to cover your acne scars. And um, I hope that this video helped. Please leave some comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.